Hey guys, this is week three of a four week series that I'm doing uh, during the month of April where I just kind of pick out some of the similarities of things that we're dealing with with this recent coronavirus situation and uh, some parallels, frankly, to just normal everyday life and some of the challenges that we deal with uh, in our own quest and desires for better health and fitness. So weeks one and two, uh, the first week I talked about information overload and how we, how we deal with that or how we can deal with that. Last week we talked about fear and how to cope. And this week I want to talk about the importance of connection. So we need connection. We need social interaction in our lives. It helps us to, to cope, whether it's with the coronavirus or with health improvement or, or fitness or nutrition. And that's, that's part of the irony here and why I think these times are particularly difficult for us because we're enduring a national crisis and we're doing that while one of our primary ways of coping with things like this has essentially been taken away from us and that is the ability to work through a challenge like this together in a connected manner and it I don't think it's really been evident to us that the reason why this is so difficult and scary is because we aren't able to handle it through connection like we normally would be able to. I mentioned earlier this month that we're enduring two crises here. One is the coronavirus itself and the second is the this viral fear that is associated with it. And I think I'd add a third crisis now and that is the, the problem of forced solitude, of standing in the corner, if you will, of being put in time out. Those disciplinary tools are effective for our children because the punishment of momentary or temporary seclusion or exclusion from your peers is hard to deal with. And that's, that's essentially where we are now as adults. And it's difficult, it's still difficult. And just like kids don't always appreciate things until those very things are taken away, now we have a greater appreciation for connection in our lives. We need connection. It's natural and it helps us to cope. It helps us to deal with challenges, whether that challenge is a national crisis or a personal health and fitness habit. But connection and simply being connected are not the same thing, just like social media and social interaction are not the same things. But I'll talk more about that in the next video.